15 Pro and Pro Max have some mind-blowing new features, and I found a bunch of pro tips and tricks, starting with the brand new action button. So this is the brand new action button, which is kind of like a shortcut button. By default, it is set to silence your phone when you tap and hold down. But if you head into settings, you'll see this brand new option called action button. There are a few things you can quickly change it to, like focus modes, camera, torch, voice memo, and even magnifier. But probably the most useful is definitely camera, because you can instantly open the camera by holding it down, take a picture by just tapping, or shoot a video by tapping and holding down on the action button again. But what I especially love is with this drop down menu you can choose exactly what mode you want the camera to open up to. So now whenever you press and hold down it'll open up the selfie camera instead and you can just snap a pic. But probably by far the most useful thing you can do with it is set it to shortcuts. Once you've tapped on choose a shortcut then you can select open app and select any application you want to instantly open like Spotify for example. And now you guessed it as soon as you press and hold down on the action button it'll instantly open that shortcut for you. This works with a bunch of different apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, and even ChatGPT. So I definitely suggest you guys play around with this. But now let me show you what you can really do with this USB-C. I'm not gonna lie, it's still a bit crazy to see USB-C on an iPhone, but I'm glad it's there because there's actually so much you can do with it. For starters, you can connect a USB-C flash drive or hard drive that you'll be able to open and access within files. You can literally browse through everything on your hard drive or flash drive, but what's even better is that if you have a ton of pictures or videos, you can just save them to files, then select them using two fingers and copy all that media over to your flash drive, which is so useful, especially if you're running out of space on your iPhone or iPhone iCloud, so definitely give this a try. There's also something really nifty you can do with your camera and the USB-C, but I'll show you guys that a bit later. But another really cool trick is if you get yourself a USB-C to HDMI adapter and plug that into an HDMI cable and then connect that to your phone, you'll instantly notice this little icon appear in the dynamic island, which means your phone is then connected and hooked up to an external display. Within the display settings, you can even customize the external monitor or TV you're connected to, which is so cool and unbelievably useful. But to take it to the next level, if you wanted to, you could actually connect a mouse and keyboard to your iPhone via Bluetooth. To get the mouse to work, just head into accessibility settings, then into touch, and right at the top under assistive touch, make sure to turn this on, then you're good to go. And just like that, you kind of transformed your iPhone into a mini MacBook where you can do a bunch of typing, you can edit some pictures, and it's all so much faster thanks to that super snappy chip. Now that is pro. Okay, so by now you might know that within photos, if you tap and hold down on any picture, you can instantly add it as a sticker. But what I really love is this option to tap on add effect, because here you can choose from an outline effect, comic look, puffy, or even old school shiny effect that changes as you move your phone. And when you're done, you'll find all your stickers within the emoji section, which you can so easily use in messages. But what is especially cool about these stickers is that they also work inside WhatsApp. So so you no longer need any third-party apps, which is so sweet. But if you or your friends are more into voice notes, then did you know that if you tap and hold onto the voice note icon, you can actually change the playback speed? Which I mean is very useful for those of you who send podcast sized voice notes. And another quick trick you can do within messages is if you ever want to quickly send a photo, instead of tapping on the plus, then opening the photos application, instead what you could do is just tap and hold down on the plus icon and instantly it'll open up photos. You can also rearrange the message menu just by tapping and then dragging. And I like to move the things I use the most right to the top. Pretty nifty. But besides helping you text with your friends, the Pro can also help you find them. Now this is such a cool feature because within messages, if you tap the plus icon and location, you can actually share your exact location with a friend and also how long you'd like to share it for. But once you've shared your location with a friend and they've shared theirs with you, if you select this find my option, it'll open it up in the find my app, which you can then click on find and it'll actually direct you right to them. It'll show you exactly where to turn and how far away you are from them, which is just so useful, especially if you're both trying to find it 
each other at let's say like a mall, festival or even concerts. Just keep in mind this is an iPhone 15 exclusive feature and won't work unless both of you have an iPhone 15. But something else you can try out with just about any iPhone is the new name drop feature. As soon as you tap one iPhone with another one it plays this little animation and gives you the option to instantly share your contact details. Which is just so slick and what not many people know is that you can share a whole bunch of other things exactly the same way. Whether it's a website link, photo, video, media, you name it, it's just so easy and simple. But now let me show you what you can do with this badass pro camera. So straight out the box, you'll actually notice that the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max only take 24 megapixel photos, even though it now has a 48 megapixel camera. But a really cool trick is if you head into camera settings and under formats, in here, make sure you turn on Pro Raw and Resolution Control. Because now, if you go back into your camera, you'll see this new Raw Max icon that if you turn on, will actually force your Pro camera to take a beautiful crispy 48 megapixel photo. But another Another little tip is if you tap and hold down on Raw Max, you'll actually see these two other options appear. And this might be a little confusing at first, but essentially what Raw Max does is it gives you a photo that is great for pro editing, but has a huge file size. Then Raw 12 is basically the same as Raw Max, except it uses only 12 megapixels instead of that 48, so the file size is much smaller. And then you get Heath Max, which is kind of like the best because it still uses all 48 megapixels but is a much smaller file size. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. I suggest you use that one. But another pro tip you've got to know is if you tap on an object, you'll now notice this little F icon appear. And now once you've snapped a pic, you can then go into that photo and edit it into a portrait photo. So you can adjust the blur amount, whether you want a super blurry background or not, and then even decide where you want the focus to be. Kind of magic. Now, believe it or not, even though there are only three different cameras on the back of the 15 Pro Max, it kind of comes with a total of seven different lenses. Firstly, right over here, you get this brand new five times zoom lens, which zooms in quite a lot more than the previous three times zoom on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So if you ever want to take a picture of something in the distance, then this is the perfect lens to use. But besides that, there are a few other hidden camera lenses you'll find by tapping on the one times zoom lens. By default, it is set to the 24 four millimeter lens, but once you tap on it, it changes to the 28 millimeter lens. And if you tap again, it'll change to a 35 millimeter lens. These are kind of like the equivalent of professional lenses that are used on professional cameras. So then if you also include the macro camera and the ultra wide camera, you get a mind blowing seven different camera lenses, which is kind of like having a professional camera kit but on your phone. And I mean, that's just photos. Wait until I show you what you can do with videos. So this is absolutely nuts, but if you want to get a full pro camera experience, then in your camera settings under formats, in here you'll find this Apple ProRes option to switch on. And if you want to go even more pro, you can then change it from HDR to log. Now, back inside your camera on video mode, you'll see this brand new button toggle called ProRes Log. And once you turn that on, the first thing you'll notice is that the colors suddenly get really dull, which is actually normal because that's exactly how professional cinema cameras shoot video. Basically, these settings kind of turn your iPhone into a proper Hollywood cinema camera. Kind of like this $30,000 red V-Raptor cinema camera. And to really test the iPhone 15 Pro's abilities, I put both these cameras side by side to see what it was capable of and I was really surprised with the results. As you can see, the cinema camera's footage is absolutely amazing, but I was absolutely shocked at how good the iPhone 15's footage came out. And at first when you quickly look at these, it's kind of hard to tell them apart, but as you look closer at the details on like the sleeve, iPhone's missing a bit of color and it's definitely a bit more noisy in the shadows, but no doubt you can definitely get some pro footage with the 15 Pro Max. But what makes this phone even more pro is that you can also connect a hard drive or USB flash drive while using it. As soon as you plug it in, you'll notice this USB-C text appear, which means now all your pro footage is being recorded directly on the flash, which then activates this hidden feature of filming in 4K at 60 frames per second, which you can't actually do unless you have a USB-C or hard drive plugged in. And all this just on your phone? 
Now, believe it or not, but the iPhone has had the same old ringtone since 2013. And now finally, 10 years later, we have some new ringtones you can find within sound and haptic settings under ringtones. There's a bunch of different new ones that I totally suggest you guys check out. And each ringtone also has its own haptic vibration. But I personally really love the departure ringtone. And also Journey. But if you don't like any of these new ringtones, you can go into this classic section and select a good old classic like marimba. And if that wasn't enough, we also got a brand new list of notification tones that once again just sound so cool. And while we're on the topic of calling, if you ever FaceTime video call someone and they don't pick up, you'll now find this new button to record a video, which you can then send to them as a video message. As soon as you're done recording your voicemail video, you can just click send, then they'll see your missed call and actually be able to play the video voice message you left them, which I just think is such a useful feature. So now onto a few new Safari tricks. If you guys head into Safari settings and scroll down, right over here you'll see this option, require passcode to unlock private browsing. So now if you head into Safari and then open up your private tabs, you'll notice you need to unlock using Face ID in order to access those tabs. Which I mean, come on, who wants to lock their private browsing? We got nothing to hide. Then another nifty trick you can do with Safari is let's say you're busy browsing the web but you get too tired of reading. Well, if you tap the little air icon and then listen to page, Siri will actually read the entire web page to you. Apple Inc. is an American multinational technology. And you can also change just how fast she reads everything. Kind of like turning the entire internet into an audiobook. Your organizations. Apple Incorporated is an American multinational technology company headquarters. Also, a little tip for safer internet browsing. Back inside your Safari settings, if you head into private search engine, you can change from something like Google to DuckDuckGo, which is slightly less monitored than Google. Now, whenever you search something inside your private tabs, it'll instead use DuckDuckGo. But now, let's go into some pro quick tips. So this is a pretty hidden trick because inside your Photos app, whenever you search for something like let's say balls, your iPhone will now search through all your media, including videos to find that search term. Then using AI wizardry, you'll see these blue highlighted bars above the video to show exactly where your iPhone found that search in the video. Another pro tip you guys should definitely check out within Maps is if you now tap on your icon over here, you can finally download offline maps. Just search for the map area you'd like to download, like London for example, then resize the box and position the exact map you want, tap download and it's that simple. And this is probably one of my favorite pro tips that I'm so glad we finally have, is once you've set a quick timer from the control panel or within the clock application, you can actually label that timer. So not only can you have multiple timers, but you can also label all of them like dinner, washing, or even movie, and I love this. So those were 32 of the best iPhone 15 Pro tips and tricks. If you want to see even more, then check out these two videos, but I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!